You guys, welcome back to Downtown Chicago. Welcome back to Number Six with Cheese. Today, crossing another burger that's made a lot of lists here in Chicago as one of the best burgers in the city. This is Bianca's Burgers. We're getting two separate ones. It's very sunny today. We're glad you're here, pumped you're here. So glad you're here. <laughs> that's right, guys. We are stoked you're here. And we're also stoked to give a shout out, a Patreon shout out as a matter of fact, to Miss Suzanne Draper. She dropped 25 bucks on that little $25 tier, so every month Ooh. she's hooking us up. That's, that's big boy pants type yeah. of stuff. We gotta respect it, we gotta love it, and we gotta tell you guys, it's a huge impact on the channel to come in like that and give us some Patreon bucks. We just can't tell you how much we appreciate it, Suzanne, and everyone else who donates. And if you wanna be part of that crew, patreon.com forward slash number six with cheese. All right, Biancas, we're coming for you. I can only see with you I'd be better with another But I always pick you I try my best to fight I can't deny it touches diamonds And you're probably the reason That I'm so messed up too How's it going? Good evening uh, I just had to pick up Rochelle Perfect, thank you Have a good one All right, in that bag Two, count them two Bianca's Burgers from Revival Food Hall Here in the Loop Acquired Jump Cut Corey Wagner Second angle. All right, let's see what we got. I got the memory lane. So if we open it up and boom. Got a good looking bun underneath that. Wow, what is that? Uh, so we've got, looks like all beef uh, patty, raw onions, lettuce, tomato, American cheese, and Thousand Island dressing. Um, so, so yeah. Doesn't uh, doesn't say pickle, but I'm seeing pickle. I'm reading the menu. So they got pickles, I'm gonna take this off. I don't know what this cheese is. Is that cheese? I don't know what the hell's going on here. The thing that they say on their menu is not the thing that I'm seeing. No, it looks But good. you know what, that's okay. They put a lot of sauce. <laughs> they sauced it up. <laughs> and then mine's got an all beef patty, grilled onion, lettuce, tomato, pickle, American cheese, and then some Bianca sauce. Nine bucks. Yeah, mine's kind of the classic, like kind of what comes on a traditional burger. Mm-hmm. So I'm going for kind of the classic look here today. All right, here we go. Bianca's Burgers. Cheers. Cheers. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That was a good flavor. Delicious first bite. Mm-hmm. What's the price point on these bad boys? Nine, ten. Pretty good for downtown. Yeah. We talked about, too, like, the new Burger King Whopper that comes out is normally like seven, eight bucks. So the fact that, this, I mean, this to me is kind of probably like, even maybe a little bigger than like a Burger King burger. Wait, are we gonna spend today comparing fast food to local? I'm going, this is almost fast food price for local. Barely a scooch over what like a new burger at Burger King would be. That's more so where I was going. I mean, cool, but mm -hmm. there's also, you know how many burgers are like 10 bucks? I don't, th I think all burgers are about a couple bucks over. Sure, we have our fancy spots, like you find some $20 ones, but that's not the, I'm not gonna sit here and say like, oh, fast food's bumped up to seven or eight, and now all local spots are $15 burgers. Like, that's not even close. Probably a dumb thing to bring up. <laughs> <laughs> it's like the only thing I'm fascinated by is just comparing it to fast food. Mm -hmm. like, dude, move on. This is kind of a no frills, no bullshit, just solid cheeseburger. Mm -hmm. Like, I don't think this has a ton of like personality making it like, oh, that's a Bianca's Burgers. Like, no. to me, this kind of tastes like a grill out kind of burger to me. No bullshit. Mm hmm. I wouldn't put it on any list for like best in the city. Same. But, I mean, I'm satisfied. Mm hmm. You look very contented, very satisfied. <laughs> I'm very satisfied. Also, down here in the loop, it's kind of nice to be able to get a $9 burger. That's what's probably mm -hmm. the biggest put up for this bad boy. Yeah. Now, the Bianca sauce to me just kind of tastes like maybe like a little bit of a mayo y ketchup or something like that. Mm. I'm gonna use hotter sixer sauce. Mm, I think it kind of needs a little more uh, pizzazz, if you will. The Thousand Island's great, but that's like, yeah. That's just a classic anybody can do. This is a burger that I feel like anybody can do, but when you're in Chicago, like say you're on vacation downtown, uh -huh. I bet you're not bringing your own grill. Probably. I would assume most people do not. So you're probably gonna need to find yourself something, and this <laughs> might be the spot. Seems like a very quick grab spot for people who work down here too. Like this Revival Food Hall is very much like a grab and go. Mm -hmm. Like, hey, I work down here, I need a quick lunch, it's good. Now, is there a reason these guys are making eye contact with me while I eat? Yeah. <laughs> is it because I have a weird job? It's probably the camera. <laughs> I'm sitting, safe, stuffing our faces in downtown Chicago. That would make sense. I did that or their fans. Oh, I met a fan this weekend. Ooh, where at? Eating, uh, Eating breakfast at um, uh, Breakfast House on Sheridan. Yes, they DM'd us on Instagram. Breakfast House did? Yeah, the person. 
Oh, that person did. I was yeah. gonna say shout out they to them, said, bro. Like, so uh, nice. They said like, you know, they had to say hi or whatever. Mm -hmm. Which was thank you for doing that. Mm -hmm. It was in front of my father-in-law and uh, uh, her uncle, so it made me look boss. Yeah, <laughs> I'll be honest. Don't know why that's on lists. Yeah, I mean it's it's like better than average. Like to me, but it's not great. What was that place we went to in Douglas Park for that video we did? That was just oh, Don's Grill. Like to me, like that was just as good as Don's. Like Don's Grill was like the same. Mm -hmm. it's just like a flat top burger. Yeah, you throw some Thousand Island on on one of the Don's Grills ones. I right. would, I loved it. Do you think Thousand Island is used more on salads or sandwiches? You know, I'm not. I'm not. Question. I'm not up on my Thousand Island knowledge. That's no. like one of the few areas of expertise that I haven't mastered. Sometimes I'll, on burgers. I'll buy a book on it. So, sometimes on Rubens. Would that be the name of the book? All right, we're going to get the boards out, the whiteboards. We're going to rate it out of five, but first I'm going to break it down for you. Corey, you're up first. I thought it was a, a very, very good burger. I think the price point for being downtown is excellent. I think there's like a lot of situations where you're a tourist, you've already spent a lot of money on some dumbass, like going to pay a bunch of money to see some stupid view or whatever and you kind of want to save some money, yeah. I think there's a good time and place for that. But if your goal is, as a foodie, to get the best food in Chicago, I would not put that burger yeah. on the list of top 10. Right. Uh, but that doesn't mean it doesn't have a place in this world. It doesn't mean that it's not a great purchase if mm -hmm. you're downtown and trying to save some money. So that's kind of my thought on it. I mean, it was it really served a purpose, and the Thousand Island was great, and um, it, yeah, everything else was like, didn't didn't fail absolutely that to me is a situational burger sometimes when you're walking around with family and you're visiting chicago it's stressful to try to find something that everybody would like to get a reservation to sit down the fact that everybody could walk into revival food hall and people that wanted burgers could grab those for nine bucks nine ten bucks to uh -huh. me is great but don't expect to have the best burger in chicago don't expect that alex trebek bump that track from heaven thank you sir It was an easy one. It was an easy yeah. one. Yeah. Well, my handwriting is bad today. <laughs> today? <laughs> Particularly, that tells you. Get away from our car. <laughs> yeah, that is. For you to call it out. All right, on the count of three, reveal your score out of five. One, two, three. Boom. Ah, yeah. That's a 2.75 in case you can't read it. That's a 3.0. Yeah, we're close. Uh, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel. Today, here's a good one for you guys to comment. We'll chat with you throughout the day. What is something, what does a burger need to do to go from average to great? Like, what is it? Is it the way the patty's made, the cheese, whatever. You tell us what it is. We'll comment ours, and we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video here in the new year. Talk soon. Goodbye. I'm staring at the ceiling So vivid and clear I don't need a crowd, I got your company Something that you do to me Four. Something slipped down his pants. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> oh, a little bit of drugs, I saw it. <laughs> I ain't gonna judge you, I saw a little baggy. <laughs>